The General Motors plant in Wentzville will soon pause production. The two-week stoppage comes as auto manufacturers await a backlog of semiconductor chips from factories in Asia. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. Five on your side's Tracy Henson is live in Hazelwood near the Powerplex where there is a surplus of inoperable vehicles. Tracy? Ann and Mike, surplus almost feels like the wrong word for it. There are rows and rows and rows of trucks behind me, uh, mostly uh, GMC terrains as well as uh, the uh, Chevy Colorados that are all out there. All of these are awaiting much needed chips. So what are we talking about here when we're talking about chips? Let's go ahead and go over this. So this specific one is for an engine compartment. This is your engine compartment chip. The wires run into it. This basically has a very advanced circuit inside of it that tells the car what to do. And each one of these modules are specific to the car make and model down to the VIN number. So you can't just swap them out. And newer vehicles, especially the ones these days, have a surprising amount of chip modules in them. And most cars have 26, 28 different modules. And each module contains a chip that controls functions on how the car works. Larry Yates is the shop foreman of Suntra Buick GMC in St. Peter's. This is called a BCM, a body control module. And this is a controlling factor of the whole inside of the car. Some, some outside functions, but it's controlled by a silicon chip. The silicon chip and circuit board assembly are complex to manufacture. COVID shuttered plants in Asia, creating a part shortage for new vehicles. In this model, there's approximately 26. So everything requires a chip. And when you have a shortage, you can't, you can't get a car out on the lot without them. Here's the view over the Old Mills Mall, now the Powerplex, where hundreds of GM trucks are awaiting precious chips and no, chips aren't something you can go without. If you could, everybody be driving new cars this year, but no, there's, you cannot run a car without a microchip. While GM waits for the components to come in, the Wentzville plant will shut down for two weeks beginning Monday. It'll be paid. We'll have holiday pay. It, we will also, uh, have, the week after will probably be a an unemployment and a sub pay. Frederick Jameson is the local UAW president he says the situation is fluid. We would love to be working 24 hours a day, uh, but it's just not the case right now because of the pandemic and the semiconductor issue. GM is not the only manufacturer dealing with these supply chain issues. The issue is global, affecting more than just cars. Anything that runs off of a semiconductor chip likely is having supply chain issues. Now, as far as the Wentzville plant goes, those people will be paid for their time. And as far as getting these chips in, that could take months, even not into next year, because these operations are very costly to costly to run. Those factories have multi-million dollar equipment in them, so you can't just build a new facility and start running with them in a month or so. In Hazelwood, I'm Tracy Hinson, five on your side.